celebrating the 21st anniversary of a great record. It's now 21 years since Donald Campbell became the first person to travel at over 300 miles per hour on water in his famous boat, the Bluebird. His father, Sir Malcolm Campbell, had created both land and water speed records in the 1920s and 30s, and Donald was determined to follow in his footsteps. It was in the early 1950s that Donald Campbell developed the Bluebird K7. It was an extremely advanced jet engine boat and in 1955 it took him to a world record with a speed of 202 miles per hour. By 1959 his water record was up to a staggering 260. Seven years later Campbell felt Bluebird could go even faster, right up to the magical 300 miles per hour. On the 4th of January 1967, after months of preparation, Donald Campbell set out to beat his record, but things went tragically wrong. Very sadly, Donald Campbell was killed, and to this day nobody is quite sure exactly why the Bluebird crashed. And because he didn't complete his course in the Coniston water, his record of over 300 miles per hour couldn't be confirmed. His previous record of 276.33 miles per hour remained the world record until 1978 when it was beaten by an Australian. Now this is a replica of the Bluebird boat and it will be one of the main exhibits at the boat show. And it's been built for a film which is going to be all about the life of Donald Campbell. Uh, it's completely authentic and somebody who knows an awful lot about it is someone who is a member of Donald Campbell's team and a very close friend of the family and that's Tony Robinson, otherwise known as Robbie. And it must have been awful being there on that day. Yes, it was a great shock. I, I still remember quite viv vividly now, not really believing it had happened. Had you watched them rehearse and everything else for it? Yes, I'd been on the lake, uh, on, on the Marshall stake boats and watched several runs, successful runs up and down the lake. So it was the last thing in the world you were expecting, was Yes, I wasn't expecting it at all. Now, Isa, how does this compare with the real uh, Bluebird? Well, when I first saw it this morning, I, I was really impressed with it, how fantastic, and it really does look like the original Bluebird. It's a wonderful looking boat, really impressive. How was it powered? It was powered by this huge Orpheus engine, which drank about 500 gallons of fuel a minute. Really? And uh, the same engine that powered the uh, Red Arrows of, the, of that era. And, it, I mean, it, would it have been all in this back section? That's right. The fuel tanks were from here. They're in a sort of <coughs> saddle tank that went over the top of there. And the rest of it, from here, right back down to the very end here, is all engine. No wonder it could go so quickly. Do you think that Britain will ever reclaim the world water speed record? Well, hopefully one day somebody will come along with the design, but, uh, and more importantly, with the money. That's going to be the most important This thing. will take a lot of beating, though, I reckon. It will, yes. Certainly for me, anyway. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to go along to the boat show...